Hi, welcome to Fiscal Solutions YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing fiscalization in Italy, specifically registration of RT printers at the authorities in Italy. My guest today is Alexander Delic, our legal consultant, who will clarify this topic for us. So, Alexander, can you hear me? Hello, Mina, I can hear you. Hello, welcome. So, uh, can you tell us from when the usage of telematic recorder is obligatory in Italy? Okay, so the, from the 1st January 2020, the taxpayers who need to be compliant with fiscalization rules need to use a registratore telematic or fiscal printer who can be adjusted to functions of the RT for electronic storage and transmission of transaction data to the tax authority. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there are some steps that uh, need to be followed for the registration activation procedure. Uh, can you tell us uh, what are these steps and uh, who will carry out this process procedure? Okay, yes, definitely. So, uh, to use RT in the legally predefined manner, the operator is obliged to follow some obligatory procedures before the device is put into service. Mm -hmm. There are different steps which need to be followed by the taxpayer and the official technician. The accreditation phase is done by the taxpayer. Through accreditation, which is online registration procedure, the taxpayer will insert his personal data and VAT data, and with these credentials, will be connected to particular RT. Okay, great. Uh, how the process of installation, registration, and activation of RT is done? Okay, so uh, long question, long answer. So the specific process of installation and activation of RT in Italy is done by the official technician. Mm -hmm. Through this method, which is in Italian censimento, which is equivalent to fiscalization process of fiscal cash registers, the RT becomes registered in the system of tax authority. It's mm -hmm. also verification and enumeration process of each RT. The main objectives of the procedure of fiscalization of each RT is to transfer the information to the revenue agency. The fact that precisely identified taxpayer is using the fiscal device registered with specific number. And the second one is to disclose every single RT in order to obtain a signature certificate that will be used by the same RT to sign the corresponding data in the XML format. After the registration process of RT, the activation phase is carried out by the technician. When the activation is finished, the RT can function only as a regular fiscal cash register. There is one more procedure to be done before it can be used for electronic transmission of transaction data. Okay. Great. And for the end, uh, could you tell us uh, what are the last steps that need to be uh, done so that RT could be put in, in service? Okay, so the procedure for putting the RT device in service can be done by the official technician on the request of the taxpayer or automatically in predefined form defined during the activation phase. Mm -hmm. The process of activation of telematic recorder ends with generation of a QR code, which can be downloaded from the revenue agency website. Mm -hmm. The downloaded QR code needs to be printed and applied on the RT in a place which is clearly visible to all customers. Great. Great. Thanks, Alexander, for, for clarifying this for us. Hope to see you soon live in our studio. Thank you, Mina. Bye. Bye. This topic will also be discussed during some of our upcoming webinars that we are preparing for you, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to follow our social media accounts to get the latest information. Also, like and share, and most importantly, stay safe. See you soon. Bye.